Graffiti Art or a Nuisance by Sarah Carroll In my class for Communications 175 The first drawings on walls appeared in caves thousands of years ago. Later, in ancient Roman and Greeks wrote their names and protest poems on buildings. Modern graffiti seems to appear in Philadelphia in the early 1960s, and by, by the late 60s, it had reached New York, and a new art form really took off in the 1970s. In those early days of the 1970s, taggers were part of street gangs who were concerned with marking their territory. They worked in groups called crews and called what they did rioting. The term graffiti was first used by the New York Times and the novelist Norman Mailer. Art galleries in New York began buying graffiti in the early 70s which added to the regard of graffiti as an art form. John Lindsay, the mayor of New York, was the first to declare war on graffiti. By the 1980s, it became much harder to write on subway trains without being caught. And in instead of being more established, graffiti artists began using roofs of buildings as canvases. Today, I want to convince you that graffiti is art, is often misinterpreted, and is beautiful. I'll discuss the dangers for those who do graffiti, why it's a serious problem, and how to celebrate artists in all the various styles. Breaking news in Phoenix, Arizona on April 12th, 2022. A 22-year-old graffiti artist was arrested after causing around $38,000 in property damage over a two-year period. The suspect is allegedly responsible for over 314 graffiti incidences. The police also found and obtained hundreds of pens, markers, and spray paint cans in his possession. The department's graffiti busters clean up around 200 graffiti sites every day. Workers on the team spend seven days a week removing reported tags on people's property. There's also a couple other dangers that these graffiti artists take. The fumes of the spray cans have lasting health side effects. There are short-term ones that include eyes, nose, and throat irritation, headaches, and loss of coordination, and also nausea. Longer-term side effects may include hazardous as damage to the liver, the kidneys, and um, central nervous system. Some organics in the spray cans are even suspected or known to cause cancer in humans. Another danger to quickly point out is that of the height of buildings, roofs, or billboards that are usual places for graffiti artists to paint. Over the years, art has changed the way we see it and the way it's um, viewed. Robert, um, Dr. Robert Glass of Smart History, a center for public art history said, over the past century and a half, however, both art and art history have evolved radically. Artists turned away from the classic traditional, embracing new media and aesthetic, aesthetic ideas. And art historians shifted their focus from the analysts of art formal beauty to interpreting of its cultural meaning. 
Now, there are some cruel things to look at in art and graffiti, but not all of it's bad. We also have murals on schools, in offices, and in some homes. It is an avenue to express feelings and thoughts of the artist or the feelings or thoughts they're trying to create in that atmosphere of where they're putting their art. Most artists have some message they want to get across, and they do it in a variety of mediums. Not everyone sees things as beautiful. In the same light, neither do many artists, but they never bash or harm others because they don't see eye to eye. They are able to see the work and the dedication it took and have celebrated art in all its glory in that way. Most of the art is expressed in ways that uplift and help others to feel a sense of calm at another's hand through their art. Considering the time and effort that it takes for all of art to be created, we can be proud of the accomplishment that it has made for completing the, pro the project. We all have different perceptions and don't view the things the same way. Bishop Cousset of the presiding bishopric um, said in this last general conference, our interactions with the beauties of nature around us can produce some of the most inspiring and delightful experiences in life. Pause for a moment with me and ponder how would life be if it had no art? It would be so drab. Life without pictures, movies, or anything on the walls of our homes, we would be all more depressed. If there was no way to create or see beautiful paintings, I would be sad. Art is a way to get out the emotions and can be therapeutic. It can fight stress, anxiety, and other traumas, both emotional and physical. Um, Boy K. Packer, um, so life showed this as he was able to use art through the hard things. Um, and Sister Packer always supported his lifelong interest. He says, throughout the years, she always made space available, even though I would create a bit of dust with my carving. Whenever she could tell that I was preoccupied, she would say, why don't you go and paint or carve for a little while? As I painted or carved, I was able to work through the things in my mind and resolve whatever it was that was weighing on me. In every hand, in every stroke of, of a paintbrush or a spray can, it can be looked at with the same admiration and determination of the beauty that we see in others, artists like Van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, or Carl Bloch. Each artist can be celebrated with a job well done. Thanks to the artists and graffitis of the past, like Keith Haring and the present, who are making beautiful paintings all around our cities and in even our own backyards, we can thank them. Graffiti is an art and it is beautiful and we can celebrate with artists of all various styles.